You know, turned off the power on Ohio manufacturing. Don't let them do it to you. Don't sign the petition allowing China to control Ohio's power. You've likely seen that commercial at one point or another over the past month or so. The ominous voice delivering a grim warning, and that's not sitting well with everyone. This mailer, or mailer I should say, is also being sent out all over Ohio. Yeah, and it all has to do with the bailout Ohio lawmakers gave nuclear power plants earlier this year. Tessa DiTiro joins us now to break it all down. And Tessa, this is really getting people riled up, isn't it? Cami, the ads are specifically disturbing Asian Americans. Ohioans for energy security is behind them. They're being criticized for fear mongering as they try to persuade people not to sign a petition that would put a referendum on the ballot next year. They took our manufacturing jobs. They shuttered our factories. Now they're coming for our energy jobs. The Chinese government is quietly invading our American electric grid. Asian Americans say they are offended by this ad. Kaz Sato says this kind of ad creates hatred in an already tense political climate. Of course, some people are being told to go home, you know, go home where you came from. Sato says his community is not for or against House Bill 6. We're not saying, you know, you cannot say this and that because freedom of uh, speech is the number one thing in this country, and I believe in it, but uh, we've got to do something. They are firm in their belief the ads are false. I reached out to Ohio for energy security for comment. They did not respond. If you're going to fight the political war, fight it with the facts. Sato says he has not been threatened, but his group did not want to wait to say something. We're all Americans and we, we should work for the future. And um, if you attack each other, it's not going to work. The group trying to get the petition on the ballot has until Monday to gather those 260,000 signatures. But it's asked a federal judge for an extension. Supporters of the referendum claim their opponents have offered cash and plane tickets for petitioners to get out of Ohio. Kyle. All right, Tessa Tiro, thank you so much. Now, if enough signatures are certified on time, the law would be put on hold for a year.